I'm Pamela Zeman and I'll be demonstrating cheesy broccoli polenta from Dr. Neil Barnard's book, Breaking the Food Seduction. If you're like most people, you're becoming more and more aware of the health risks of consuming dairy, and yet you love cheese. This recipe will give you the same mouthfeel, the same flavor and texture of cheese without all the artery clogging fat that goes with cheese. This has no cheese in it. All you need, five cups of water, one and one third cups of polenta. Now this is corn grits, not to be confused with corn meal. You want the polenta. And one fourth of a cup of nutritional yeast, two, one to two cups of broccoli, and please make it organic, and then one tablespoon or one teaspoon of salt. So, and as far as equipment, you just need a, a knife, a cutting board, a wooden spoon, and a heavy bottom saucepan. So let's get started. So we've cut up the broccoli real fine for this recipe. We want those little tiny flecks in the polenta. It's very beautiful and it's very nutritious. I'll give you a little tip. If you don't want all of these little nubs all over your cutting board, what you do is you simply take the broccoli, cut it down the middle of the stalk, and you pull it apart. And that way you get none of these little nubs all over your cutting board. So we've put the broccoli into the water for about five minutes until it becomes tender. Then we'll add in the polenta. After the broccoli has cooked for five minutes, you'll want to remove it from the heat and then gently stir in the polenta. When you have the polenta stirred in, then you'll want to put it back on the heat and simmer it for 20 to 40 minutes. I like to use a flame tamer. This is totally optional, but it does help so that the polenta doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. After 20 to 40 minutes, you will have the cooked polenta. Then you add the nutritional yeast and a little bit of salt. Nutritional yeast is wonderful for supplying all the B12 that you need. Red Star is an excellent brand of nutritional yeast. It has vitamin B12, which 50 to 90% of all Americans are missing in our diet. So the more we can use nutritional yeast, the better. And it's got a real cheesy texture. So we'll add that in to the polenta, along with one teaspoon of salt, Stir. And who would guess there is no cheese in this recipe? When you're looking for nutritional yeast, make sure you check the package because some brands contain whey, which is a byproduct of cheese production. This is a wonderful recipe to have as a side dish. You could put it with a tossed salad, some sliced tomato and basil. Another option is to simply have it for your breakfast. Why not? 